the variety of whips in Adam's arsenal is impressive. The cheapest material most whips are made out of nowadays is nylon right here. This whip here is nylon parachute cord. From there, we go to cowhide. Here's a bull whip I made several years ago. It's a cowhide swivel handle bull whip. More expensive whips nowadays are made out of kangaroo leather. This whip is the same whip Indiana Jones used, made by the same guy, a guy named David Morgan. And I even have some whips here made out of chain mail. It's more of a novelty, but the way this cha talented chain mail artist makes them by welding the last uh, few feet of the whip, it's actually a functional whip and they're really loud. Even all of these that are leather or chain mail or nylon, they go to different materials at the end, right? So why do they, right. why do they transition? Well, first, this little bit at the end, anatomy of a whip here, this is called a fall. And it's just a strip of leather. And this is a replaceable end because this takes a lot of abuse as is at the end of the whip. So I want this part replaceable so then I can put a new end on my whip as it wears out. And then the part that goes supersonic is actually the cracker at the end of the whip. That's this little piece here. And this wears out the fastest because it continues going supersonic. As you can see, that's the first part that wears out, and then the whip wears out progressively back towards the handle. Gotcha, and these things wear out without even needing to contact anything except the air. Right, just from moving that fast. Yeah. What different things can you do with this variety of whips in the first variety? Ask an innocent question. Just like that. So I don't even have time to think about it.